Hey there, everyone. Today we're going to look at how to open new raw images in a little bit older software. It doesn't have to be real old, even just a little bit older, but we, I'll show you how to take it back, way back. Uh, the trick is you just bought a new camera. You really don't want to buy a new Photoshop or a new Lightroom, perhaps. Although the new Lightroom is awesome, the new Aperture is great. Uh, just for some reason, you just want to use what you got which is a good plan. So let's have a look. The key to this is the Adobe DNG converter. All right, looks like this, version 8.3. And you can get it at adobe.com slash download slash updates dot html. It is right here, okay? DNG Converter 8.3, Mac and Windows, okay? The reason this works is the DNG Converter lets you select which version of Camera Raw you can be compatible with. So once you download and install the DNG Converter, take a look here at number four preferences, hit the button, and right here at the top says Compatibility. And you can pick the Camera Raw version that it's compatible with. And read the little print here. Uh, 7.1 is CS6, 6, CS5, 5.4, CS4. So whichever one you need, that's the one you're going to use. So in this case, I'm going to show you Photoshop CS5. So I'm going to choose 6.6. .6. Um, the size of the JPEG preview. This isn't the size of this adds or uh, shrinks file size a little bit. Uh, medium size is pretty much just fine. Let you see what the image is. Lossy compression, I wouldn't recommend. Embed original raw file will actually stick the entire original raw file inside the DNG file and allow you to pull it out. Obviously, that'll at least double your size. So I leave that off most of the time. And that's your setup here. Now let's take a look at a file here. Okay. Here's some Ice Castle. Now, these are from the Sony A7R. You can see that's a huge pixel dimension. Um, my Mac will read these files, but let's try and put one in Photoshop CS5 and see what it says. Wait for it. Okay, it's not supported by this version of Camera Raw. All right, I'm just going to copy that out to the desktop here. Maybe. There we go. So let's pick our desktop folder. I'm just going to save in same location, although you can pick a different location if you want. You can also adjust your names. All right, and pick your extension. So let's just hit convert, and it'll show you your list. You can do a whole folder at a time, and you can see right over here we have our the same file name, but it's a DNG file. Now CS5 elements, if you have an older version of elements, will all now read these files. And you can adjust your camera calibration and other settings right here, okay? Recovery. So anything that you are used to, you've got right here. This will work in older versions of Aperture, older camera raw, Photoshop elements. You can do it all with this DNG converter. So it's pretty slick, pretty handy. You've got your raw files. And you've got your, if you just convert them to DAG, you can even then just get rid of your original raw files. So that's it. Just make sure that you pick the appropriate version of Camera Raw that you're going to. Uh, if you try one, it doesn't work, try an older one. And give that a try. Uh, hopefully that'll give a little more longevity to your existing software. 
and enjoy that new camera. Hey, thanks for watching. This is John Adams from ReflectedPixel.com. Please check out my other videos and the website.